record. <laughs> you weren't recording. I wasn't recording at all. <laughs> I did that yesterday, except I had no audio. I was literally just saying that we're trying to create a YouTube and uh, that all these mistakes keep happening. I was out all day yesterday trying to get it done and it was just screwing up the whole time. <laughs> Wrong, try again, dumbass. <laughs> to do it all over again. Yeah, I mean, we're headed to the same spot. Uh, so hopefully we get what we needed. And then also I didn't have enough memory, so I had to get more on the iCloud. Stir! Did you hear that, Mr. Hat? I sure did, Mr. Garrison. What a retard. <laughs> I think we're, we're ready now to create the YouTube that we really want to create. And right now we're headed to the beach. Beach. It's the beach time. And uh, our favorite. Yeah, our fave. Right now we're just driving through Brickle. We live in Miami, Florida, in uh, downtown specifically. That's where we're from, uh, where we moved to. We're originally from New York, but um, now we're here and we want to experience the world and travel and go to Bali eventually. Now, Bali becomes possible once, you know, our, the once that Amanda gives birth. Amanda's pregnant, by the way, guys, and she's going to give birth in November, which is pretty cool. So, bang. I'm gonna hand the phone off because I probably shouldn't be that way driving. So we're on our way to the beach. Yep, we're headed to the beach now, boy. And again. Should we show them a little bit of Brickle? How beautiful it is? Yeah, show them Brickle. This is Brickle. Big skyscrapers. Just a little taste. Yeah, a little taste. It's a really pretty commute when we go here. I love it. The man has been wanting to move here for years. Uh, we've been together for about 10 years now. Now we're ready to just truly adventure and, and go outside of the normal of working these jobs that are just kind of taking all our souls away. And soul having, suckers. Soul suckers. <laughs> we've been literally watching, well, I've been watching travel videos and like people like Brody Moss. We got fire, baby. Yes. And also people like Peter McKinnon, who are uh, filmmakers on YouTube. What's up everybody, Peter McKinnon here. I'm gonna blow your minds. They do amazing work uh, for all these national brands and it's so cool that they get to travel the world. And that's what I really want to do too. I've been always wanting to do that my whole life. I just keep getting sucked into other things that don't serve me. But, uh, you know, we're in this era now, now that we're gonna be new parents and we don't want to be stuck working jobs while we're trying to raise a, a child and the ultimate goal is that we're happy while also being able to provide for a family so that's what we're trying to do and Sean's doing a good job he's a great filmmaker and Try. I want him to show everyone his his talent so let's get this started right babe that's it so next time you guys see us we're gonna be at the beach mm -hmm. and uh, try and get the, the work that we've been wanting to get for a while. And Amanda didn't come yesterday because we went to the beach like two, three days in a row. And yeah, Amanda, was exhausted. Amanda's pregnant self needs to sleep. So she's back recharged and happened for a good reason because now she's, she's part of the real first mm -hmm. longer episodes. Got my water. We have another fully. Got some snacks. We're gonna watch the sunset. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. see you guys soon. Bye. I want to show you guys something. It is July, and um, all the sea turtles are now nesting right here. They're sleepy little turtles. Do not disturb sea turtle nest. And um, wow, this is just awesome. And I cannot wait to see these guys hatch in just a couple months, probably. And it's gonna be so cool to see these guys just run into the water right over here right where i live i love living here so much it is a blessing to be in the tropics my true nature is to travel though so being in miami and florida in general even all around it is great but being around the mountains at times being in the alps at times even alaska in the cold at times that's where i really want to do that's where i really that's where i really want to be and I'm excited for that. Let's get it. Rest easy, turtles. So there's 
crazy amounts of, of big fish, actually good eating fish on this jetty right by the rocks. They, it dips down into like a little crevasse. Crevasse. But um, it dips down and there is really good sized fish, big parrot fish, um, other schools of fish, millions of these little pig fish. And that's probably why over there is so nice right now when it comes to like trying to find fish. I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna try and get it, bring it out, but once I do, because I didn't bring a cooler, we gotta throw it in the bucket and, and drive straight home. Good thing we're only about less than 10 minutes away. So uh, being 10 minutes away is gonna be a lot easier to get the, f the fish home, cook it up, and keep it fresh. Uh, wish me luck, I haven't caught a fish in a while, but also I haven't seen this amount of fish uh, so close to shore in a while as well. Uh, there's millions of like little bait fish, so that's probably the best opportunity I'm gonna have to seeing those big fish over there. I'm seeing big barracudas, a lot of different ones, so um, I am hoping to catch these motherfuckers and have a really nice taco dinner. All right, no cursing. It's not classy. Uh, <laughs> I'm not Gary B. I'm not Gary B. No shit. Unfortunately, we didn't catch any fish as much as I really wanted to. Uh, I was super excited about that, but the current was so strong, it just kept throwing me to the rocks with a bunch of coral, and I had no gloves, no nothing to really hang on. Uh, I caught this nice little, that little nice one. Oh my God, he's gonna die! A little gift to learn from the next time. I, saw, I was developing like little techniques where I would, because I was getting pushed to the rocks so much over here, that I would swim over there, and then I would let the current take me slowly, and then as I would get over there, but I misjudged it, and I ended up being more farther out than I thought, and it was pushing me out to the ocean. And uh, if I just kept going, maybe I'd go to the Bahamas and find some real fish. <laughs> but, um... I wanna go to the Bahamas. But, um, yeah, that's really about it, guys. We're gonna go watch the sunset by this nice, nice bridge, and I'm uh, gonna bring you along with us, so. We're out of here now. We're gonna go pack up our stuff and we're gonna go. Hi. <gasps> There's a crab. <laughs> so I just pulled over because there's this land crab and you don't really see them that often and I, I gotta show you guys. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, he's coming, he's like, Oh, you want a piece of me, man? You want a piece? Whoa. Babe wants to come check out the land crab? Yeah. He's like, hey, hey, who's that? Hey, hey, hey. This is like the first time we've seen the land crab, like walking, right? Yeah, across the street. Across the street. I've never seen that. We've been here for about a year and a half and I haven't seen these crabs. All right, buddy. Go into the woods and enjoy your life. I'll leave you alone. And you got one big claw and one little claw. What happened? You got it taken out? That's his fighting claw. That's your fighting claw? I think he's going to, he's trying to, I think he knows, he knows. All right, bye guy. No stress. Here he goes. There he goes. So we just had a cool little film session over here. I was fishing down kind of stepped out there and started fishing and make sure to get I didn't catch anything just like I didn't spearfish I didn't catch anything over there I said I was gonna maybe spearfish like over here but if you see that bridge all the way over there that bridge I know harbors big fish that are swimming around the columns and the only fishing that goes on really is um, the fishing that's taking place off right here so a lot of people fish in Miami a ton of people any type of pier or bridge or hop on a boat, there's people fishing. It's the best capital. It's one of the best fishing in the world, actually. So it's, it's pretty cool and it's uh, pretty amazing to catch all the things that you can catch here. Catching fish off the, the rod and reel is really fun and, and a super big challenge, but you know, catching it right from the pole spear and bringing it up, there's, I feel like there's nothing like it. It's so primal, uh, so is the rod and reel. But uh, going down there and getting it is a crazy experience. The sunsets here are just incredible. They really are. The sunsets, it's just, it really humbles you and you're able to just be here year round, be by the water 
and even during the winter time you throw a hoodie on and you can just be outside comfortably and and not be cold i love the tropics i really love the tropics and the moon here right now is you'll see no justice on this but it's looking really good i feel like i got everything i wanted to get but um i don't know you never know you just keep shooting and all of a sudden you find things that are even better right babe What's Lazy Amanda doing? She's ordering food because I'm 20 weeks pregnant. And we have to go because it's coming. Pregnant and I'm hungry. I literally had oatmeal and crackers all day today. We gotta go. Amanda needs to go because she's got to eat. And uh, I didn't catch any fish. <laughs> Alright, we're out. I'm going to grab that drone. I'm going to pack up and that's it. This thing, the DJI Air 2S, is one of the coolest drones out. I love this thing so much. Um, I literally wouldn't be able to get the, the shots without something like this. And it's super reliable, it really is. I know they say it's not the top drone out, because it's not. They got the Mavic 3 now and, and some other drones, but it's really hard to go toe to toe with this if you take away the Mavic 3 and like one other drone. Like this thing is insane. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thought I just saw a fish. I was about to go uh, cast a reel out, but yeah, I think we're done here.